시간 없어요. 시간 없어요. What does this phrase mean? If you'd notice, the word in red letter is 없어요. Because today, on one Korean word a day here at Day Hangul, we're going to study about the word 없다. Let's start. Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hangul. Word number 271. Opta. Opta. This is composed of two syllables. The first syllable is op, and the second syllable is da. Pronounce it with me. Opta. Opta. The word opta is a root verb, which means it is not yet conjugated. It means to not exist or to not have. So if you're already familiar with the term opsoyo, it actually came from the word opta. So again, opta means to not exist or to not have. How do you write opta in Hangul? This is composed of two syllables. The first syllable is op, and this is written by drawing first a no sound eung followed by the o character, followed by the p of character, followed by a siot character. For the second syllable da, we need to draw first a dikat character followed by an a character. And then we just need to combine these two to form the handle of the word opta. Now let's try to look at this example sentence. It says, I have no time. Again, I have no time. The Korean translation of this English sentence is, shigan of soyo. Again, shigan of soyo. This sentence could be divided into two. The first one is shigan, which means time. And the second part is opsoyo, which is actually the conjugated version of opta. As mentioned, opta is not yet conjugated. So when it is conjugated into its present tense form, it becomes opsoyo. So opsoyo is the present action or present state of having none. So, when we combine shigan and opsoyo, it means there is no time. Or if you're saying shigan opsoyo to someone, you're more likely saying, I have no time. And so far from our discussion, we already know the meaning of this sentence which is flashed at the beginning of the video. Shigan opsoyo simply means, I have no time. And with that, you've just learned opta. Now let's proceed to our previous 10 words recap. As of now, the previous 10 words are words number 261 to 270. But don't forget our word for today, word number 271, opta, which means to not exist or to not have. The first word for our review is word number 270, masissa, which means there is taste or delicious in an informal manner. Word number 269 is heo, which means do. Word number 268 is pile, which means see. Word number 267 is mogoyo, which means eat. Word number 266 is gayo, which means go. Word number 265 is yo dong seng, which means younger sister. Word number 264 is Nam Dong Seng, which means younger brother. Word number 263 is Mad of Soil, which means not tasty or not delicious. Word number 262 is Mashit Sumnida, which means delicious in a formal manner. 
And the last word for our review is word number 261, mogosoyo, which means eight or the past tense of eat. Congrats! Learn Korean one word at a time only here at Day Hango. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Korean words.